broadcast the live stream in the city. The Signal 27 Show. Pussy. Ain't What's real, real going pussy. What's on? How y'all doing? Oh, this oh is wow. Hey, what's up? Hey, no, I ain't got, a, yo, ain't got enough up, time man? to count to it. Live and direct. Damn, nigga. <laughs> <niggas. laughs> <laughs> hey, That's all they heard. Hey, didn't yo. Say yo, he, didn't, he didn't say your name. He didn't say your name. But um, Why y'all keep referring to me as erectile dysfunction? Um, I, <laughs> well, why I got me ED? Um, I, My name hey. is the Fabler, man. Okay. TF. I, the uh, fuck? The Fabler? <laughs> TF. <laughs> I'm telling your mama. She's probably listening. Is she? Hey, she mom. named me. Go ahead and shit. talk to her a little bit. Say what you got to say. I ain't saying shit till I see her name on that screen. Why not? <laughs> Shout out to our uh-huh. angry T.I. with glasses. Yeah. I was more like the light skin, the baby. You still the light skin. You still baby. okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A white boy, the light skin. He doesn't try to put color on himself. You know, but I'm still light skin. This dude just said I look like peanut butter. <laughs> oh, hot mocha what? looking mom. Maybe I put a Yo. picture of an omelet on my Facebook and it tagged you. Yes, that was <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> it couldn't help it because you're the color of an omelet. Yeah, that's, um, that's still fucked up. Damn. All right, y'all. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank you all for tuning into the Signal 27 show. Uh, we are back this week for a um, new and engaging topic this week. Uh, before we even get started, I want to go ahead and put out this disclaimer, okay? Because the, as you can see from the thumbnail uh, we're talking about buck breaking and the reason why we're talking about buck breaking is because uh the writer uh who also wrote hidden colors has written this one as well hey hey how you doing uh kim is that a kim is that kim Kim love my haters oh what's up guys oh okay all right so we so we want to uh first and foremost put out this disclaimer okay um just because we have a topic on this does not mean that we have any kind of hatred towards any kind of uh, group that's out there. Uh, when it comes to bug breaking, a lot of the portions of homosexuality can come into play, and then mm. people are trying to cancel you because that you're gay. But we can still speak on these topics. And if you are a homosexual and you decide to cancel us because you didn't like what we said, then fuck you. Uh, you need to get over it because people are going to say stuff about it. I'm not it, about it this. It started out real nice, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it really did. Then yeah. we took a sharp ass turn and to you, the left. Right up in the booty hole. He said, and, "Fuck you." Right, and Congress mm-hmm. just passed the rule: you can't say "fuck you" unless you say "and your mama." That's what Congress said. Okay, well then, at the end <laughs> of the day. At the end of the day, fuck you and your mama, uh, based off of the Congress decision by the socialites that's down there in Congress. Um, But I'm just on the real, though. I'm just letting you know that today's topic might get a little touchy. And if you are easily Mm. offended, then I advise you to leave now. Now. Get your shit and get the fuck out Mm. Uh, on on real talk, because I'm not about to sit up here and sugarcoat shit. We getting ready to say if you don't like it. You can get gone. And here's the funny thing about it. The fact that we can ready to talk this shit and you still in here means that you a nosy motherfucker. And you want to know what real straight heterosexual so is about to say. So Why are you so angry? <laughs> we gonna, hit the reset button. We going to have to get a few transgenders to calm you down. No, you ain't got to get oh. not now, not now. <laughs> Nah, they are uh, so angry. Uh, they, they just aggressive as you. They, one I'm of them, I, I am a real colored woman. I am a real colored woman. I'm like, well, damn, are you going to forget that you a colored woman? Why you got to keep saying well, you're that? you trying to convince. Right? Okay. Yeah, right. 
Um, but before so. we get started, y'all know who's here and who's not. Uh, this week, uh, Chip wasn't able to make it uh, due to whatever engagements that he has. But y'all make sure that y'all... What up, Chip? He's in the chat. So hey, obviously, he's somewhere looking. Uh, so I'm... I'm but hey, at, I, keep you, I keep you safe and in prayer wherever you at, homie. Um, on top of a girl. Uh, next, we have uh, to our right, our immediate right, you know, uh, that's our resident light-skinned brother that is none other than Mr. Raul, Mr. Milkman, baby. Uh, y'all give it up to <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's put the peace out of it. Like, no, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not the milkman, baby, bitch. Where's this coming from? This anger and no. aggression. No, it's not that. That's part of one of his jokes. What did transgenders do to you? No, no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna explain it. No, but that's my brother from another mother. That is none other than Raoub, ladies hey. and gentlemen, aka Mr. David Emmanuel, aka Mr. Unity Over Beliefs, aka Mr. King of Conscious Comedy. You know who he is. It's a lot. My breath is gone. Thank you, brother. You know what I mean? You need to choose a name so we can just say which one. Which one would you prefer? Out of all of that, I just fucking say it. Man, you could just look at me and I'm good. (laughs) Not like that. No. (laughs) Transgender (laughs) unity. No. All transgenders matter. No. Okay. I know. Even no. though it's no. You need so. to take that back, brother. <laughs> okay, I take it back. I take it back. Just say David. I mean, I all mean. right, give it up for my friend David, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Um, I don't know. There we go. I'm trying to get my claps together. Uh, and to the right of me, Man, I mean, they to got the left shots of me. That now, you know. Do they? Yeah. Mm. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> To the left of me is none other than my beautiful wife, a.k.a. Big Sarge, a.k.a. Big Sarge. Arthur, mm. Officer, yeah. well, Zakita. <laughs> the yeah. former, former, yeah. former yeah. Big Sarge. Former, <laughs> former heavyweight champion no. of the jail. Mrs. Yeah. Get Some Herself. Mrs. Get Some Herself. So, That's right. Y'all give it up. Get your ass in there, Amy. Go ahead. Stand up and let him see you. <laughs> see that Mrs. Get Some Herself. Ah, yeah, I'm gonna get some of this now. Straight yeah. entrepreneur. On That's y'all. right. I give it up to none other than Lakita Gordon. Hey. All right, and to the right of me, you seen her. That's that is uh, none other than Miss Comedian, Miss. Uh, I cover myself up with a good time. You can't up. see nothing. Wow. You yeah. might think you see something, but you don't see nothing. You're gonna take five trains. Right. It's You're gonna do 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 You're gonna uh, what's and that? Head on clothes. Did you? The guitar tell. pick is not a close. No, it's not a close. <laughs> no, it's not a close. <laughs> head with Lincoln his phone. What? It? It's not a close. So it's old head. <laughs> <laughs> Call her Pops Mabel. Ain't that what it is? <laughs> she was covered up. But y'all give it for none other than comedian Claudine, hey. ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Yeah. And then let me give a clap too, also, because I didn't do Big Sarge. We give a clap for Big Sarge. Yeah. yeah. And then you see to the resident right of us, that is none other than another light skinned brother. My, uh, my man does not have a mask on today. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's free now. Y'all yeah, somewhere free. Yo, so y'all get to see what's going on. Y'all give it up Did for you none say other. resident white? <laughs> light, light. I said light. Resident I light. white. He's making it rain oh, over oh, there. Oh, oh, that's, what he, that's what he said Claudine well, made for him last week. I just want to say that my employee was not here last week. She did, a, <laughs> she did a hell of a job. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm still a, going. Oh, you did. Yes, <laughs> baby. Oh, <that> me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. She talked about the whole show last week. I got my percentage already. That's what's up, baby. Thank you, Claudine. We you know that you was out Facebook? there selling pussy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Man, well, you go ahead, go back and watch it. Y'all give it up for Ed. I got some. I went to the my counter. You should have told me. Selling out there, got his money. Selling all that pussy out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, so Halloween ladies, was good. It was, wasn't it? Looking at the way you got them dollars flying out there hey. like that. Well, they got Don't Korean mean. shit on the bottom. So yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Well, if you go I don't care where you get your money from. Chinatown? You know, Avenue B, I don't care. Phillips Highway? Yeah, this joint got monkey yeah. <laughs> on it. International pimping. You can yeah. take that overseas and that, double it. That joint say shit. Go get me an Alibaba account. What the there you go. fuck is wrong with you? That's that's the that's the motherfucking <laughs> Chinese that you're talking about. Like somebody need to hit the reset button on Leroy. No, she she was chong chi, chong chi, chong chi, chong chi, chong chi. Can you stop? It don't sound. It don't sound like that to you. No. It sounds just like that. You go to the no. Chinese store and you ask for uh, a shrimp and broccoli. Be like shrimp and broccoli. Tish, tish, oh, go on, queen, tish, 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 tish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he gonna get his banned in every Asian yeah. country. Yeah. Fuck it, I don't care. Koreans don't sound like Japanese. Japanese don't sound like. But Vietnamese. them motherfuckers all look alike, and they say the same thing about it. You nigga look like the other nigga down the street. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm gonna stand yeah. in the chip one day, and y'all dare him to say that shit. <laughs> Huh? I'm gonna stand next to Chip. 
I don't. I dare somebody say that all niggas right. look like. Well, they be like that fat nigga that look like the other <laughs> fat nigga that be on the screen. But this nigga, he is like he a pot nigga and pot cracker and. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You what are fifty fifty nigga cracker. <laughs> you are nick you are <laughs> you are nick cracker. <laughs> Somebody take his mic. <laughs> Just take his mic. I'm learning that you 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 back there. Something wrong with my boy, y'all. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I got a little problem. We all hyped up. Kim said their eyes look like commas and apostrophe. Mm. Wow. Uh, commas and <laughs> damn. They go get your ass. You Ready. don't know. Now nah, that is a stereotype too. If I actually do the fake, do do the. Don't no, do it. all right, stop let me stop because I got Asian yeah, people that work stop. with me in my place of business. But I got you Asian know what the fuck I say. Pick a color. See, Ed looking like Howard Hewitt up in here. Oh, damn. <laughs> no, Who Howard went that Hewitt far back? Like. <laughs> That's Osri. That you know Osri going to fuck with oh. you. Of course. All right, y'all. Oh, uh, but <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to go ahead and move forward with the show. Uh, as you can see, the story for today's topic is going to be butt breaking. I'm going to go ahead and give it to none other than David. Uh, to give us some insight on this particular topic. Go ahead, David. Hey, hey, the whole reason why we are even <laughs> dealing with this buck-breaking movie. Let me breaking. tell you. Like booty. It does. Yeah. It really does. Buck, B-U-C-K, as in if you had the ass of a horse. You a buck. Put me in the buck. They going to break you. <laughs> no, it's not funny, though. They did do this shit, but we didn't know about it. Um, yeah. And the documentary by Tariq Nasheed is phenomenal. I watched it. I learned a whole lot of things that I didn't know. I you know, I knew about it, but this documentary went even deeper. But when I first heard of it, it was from Tariq Nasheed. <laughs> Forgive Ed if he gets aroused from any <laughs> words I'm her. using during the illustration was, of this movie. Saying. I mean, you can't talk about bug breaking and talk about going deeper. He went deep, deep, into deep the, into the topic and the background and mm, the energy and what it did to the people. The so. I was on Clubhouse. We was in a room, and they weren't. I don't think they was even talking about buck breaking. Mm -hmm. They were just talking. And this lady came and said, "Well, Tariq, she made this movie, and it was offensive." And and she said, "I went to the movie. I went to the viewing, and I fell asleep. And I woke up halfway through, and I was offended by what he put on the screen. First of all, you didn't watch the whole damn movie. Mm -hmm. You fell asleep, so you probably missed the narrative." Mm -hmm. And you were looking for a reason to be angry. Mm -hmm. Can I say something uh, in reference to that particular person? Um, the problem with people like that, they get offended. You know, Tariq Nasheed makes documentaries that is centered towards giving black people information that they did not know. If you got offended by the shit that has happened to our ancestors and the explanation as to why it's given, then you are the problem. And I'm saying that to your face. If you see me out in the street yeah, you are the problem. We need to know the information about how we got screwed. Mm. David. A shade. Really? A double a entendre? Man, mm. yes. A moon. <laughs> so the Reverend Deacon Leroy. Hello. Now, so just so happened I was in the room. So when she said that shit, I said, look, I know people got feelings about Tariq Nasheed. Sometimes he play around. But just like my brother Leroy just said, he bring us information that we don't damn it know. Mm -hmm. And then you talking about what's wrong with the movie and you not talking about the fact that he got people to give to put in like a million dollars to build a African uh American museum in Compton, you know, mm -hmm. he's funded like and he raised that money from small donors. Mm -hmm. See, you're not gonna highlight all the good things that the brother is doing. But you won't try and bash the movie, mm -hmm. okay? Same so they did for Chappelle. Chappelle donated that funding to the transgender lady. Mm -hmm. Nobody mentions that. Wow. But nobody. I don't want to change topic. Else. No, but no, it, 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 it makes a, it, it makes a difference because they don't ever mention the positive that a person is doing. You're always vilified for putting a narrative out there that go against the status quo. You mean and a narrative that's being misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. When you put the truth out there and someone believes a misinterpretation of it, it makes that the truth. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Facts. Right. Just like CRT is not a problem. CRT, CRT is the truth. Mm -hmm. What is CRT, though? That, um, Come run this. No, no, no. no. That's one of <laughs> Critical race man. theory. Oh. You oh. know, what well, they don't want you to teach your kids know. about slavery so the white kids don't feel uh, ashamed of their ancestors. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you, so, so you want to make your, your Which lineage. Which is part of buck-breaking. Part yeah. of that CRT is buck breaking. Agreed. Yeah, because of the the information that's being right. divvied out right. to the people. You know what I mean? So Jarrell's correct. 
Right. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I feel like every person who is black or have African descent should. who's in the United States should know and should should figure this out as you well. Put up the guy's name, you know, and yeah. what this is. Um, Tariq Nasheed. The the movie was called uh, Buck Buck Breaking Breaking. Um, by Tariq Nasheed, yeah. I, but Tariq Nasheed also has Hidden Colors one, two, three, and four. And he has done a documentary for Haiti. uh, the Haitian Revolt, yep. and, uh, and then he done <laughs> Seven AM, I think, as well, right? I don't know if he did Seven AM or not. No, it okay. might be somebody else's movie. Okay, but all I'm saying is that I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give it back to David. Um, but he goes into the whole list of uh, buck breaking, not just the physical, but also the mental and how. Things are being portrayed to us as a people, and how there is an attack on heterosexual, masculine men, and it, it made me, it made people. And I was watching on TikTok where the guy was um, getting, the woman was being made fun of mm-hmm. by other women because there, there's attack on being just being a man. Right. Everything is making us effeminize. You can't be a masculine man in their society, especially a masculine black man. The woman is already going against the masculine man yes. based off of what they're saying. We're right? woman. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. hold up. Y'all got women at the table. Y'all just can't throw shit out there like women. that. Black mm-hmm. women. No, well, yeah. they they making the, the majority of black women. They turn them against us. Turn against the, the, shit, the black men. Shit, y'all ain't got no Adam's apples. That's what I'm saying. Hell no. <laughs> what, does, uh, what does it mean yeah, if you don't have an Adam's apple? Hell. You're trying to guess whether you're a boy you're or a man. girl. You're not a man. Yeah. I mean, well, can I just... Try to, try to figure hey, this shit out. Hold on, I got to turn around. We're not even going to do that. You got to turn that. Hi, Brianna. Hey, how you doing? We full Adam's apple. Yeah, he got some of the smoothies. You got when they stove. swallow that dick, I mean... Hey, no. <laughs> no, I can't. Oh, my God. No, we're not going to talk about the kids that slid right? down your throat from right? having the residence the in your nuts. tummy. The nut. We're nut. What? The nut. <laughs> oh, the nut. Okay. The nut, not oh. the nut. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You want nuts in your throat, then go for it. I ain't going to... No, I was talking about the ones residing in your tummy. You need mm-hmm. to charge the motherfuckers rent. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Damn. Damn. But that's another topic for another day. You know more... They so say men can skin. get a uh, Kim said men can get an Adam's apple removed. I guess that's yeah, part of the whole transgender thing. But here's the thing. Here's here's what I want to know, right? When it comes to because when when they was going through the entire process of buck breaking, mm-hmm. you already know the just of the slave master having his way with the right. the strongest buck or the strongest African man that they have on their thing and using that as an example for the women and the children saying, listen, I'm taking advantage of your protection. Yeah. So it kind of puts in the woman's mind, okay, well, if my man can't protect me, I got to depend on the white man. Exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. Or the Caucasian or the racist Caucasian. Not all Caucasians are the same. I'm trying to say some stuff that's politically correct because, you know, anyway. But in the end, their mindset has already been placed on the woman as to how to raise a child. Now, you have that particular mindset raising a boy versus raising a girl. Now, how does that play out, you think? Mm, I don't know, but the psychological effect, they was actually raping men in front of their families. Facts. They were literally fucking the shit out of these men. Mm, yeah. And... Did <laughs> you have to... Oh, my God. I Another see, double entendre. I cannot with y'all. I just, <laughs> you, yeah. I just see shit spilling from the <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. See, I picture, I mean, you know... I'm, you know, y'all giving us pictures. I'm like... <laughs> I visualize stuff as people talk, so yeah. that's, my, that's I hate that I do that, but I, I can't too. help it. So as soon as he said that, I'm like, <laughs> I just see stool and feces just coming out. This shit uh, everywhere. I'm sorry, yo. That hey, man, was... <laughs> hey, I want to apologize to the descendant of these buck broken, broken men. Oh my! Okay. And I really don't mean to be offensive, but I really want to drive home what happened to your ancestors. Mm, drive it home somewhere in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> They ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, can't, we can't be serious for shit, can we? <laughs> really? For shit? For, oh, right, damn. Right. <laughs> you said drive it. Drive it. Hold on. I'm going to take a breath. Hold on. <laughs> hey, y'all yeah. have to understand. I haven't had a dick in a while, so my mind is somewhere else. My mind's telling me no. No, Yo. I ain't telling me no. I just can't get that. <laughs> Yo, oh, yeah. Damn. So... All I'm saying is this. I cannot. Can you focus? I'm trying. Okay, let me focus. All right. So in reference to the actual documentary, they speak in reference to the the white Caucasian man saying out of his mouth that you are not considered gay if you are the deliverer of penis. If you are the receiver of said penis, Mm -hmm. then you are the homosexual. Also in this documentary, they said that the African black race 
was the female of the races mm-hmm. and the Caucasian was the male of the race because they're saying that the African doesn't want to disrupt anything, doesn't want to get on anybody's bad side mm-hmm. or anything like that. But when your money is coming from Caucasian people, it kind of keeps you in your place. Mm-hmm. You have people that say things that they can say. Like right now, I really want to say some stuff. Right. But I can't because I know that if it gets back to employment, that they can then take money because that's where my money is coming from. Right. right? Mm-hmm. So the question is going to be, are we, are, are we in this situation because of Caucasian money? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So maybe if we were making money with ourselves, we would have the strength to be able to say what we really want to say. Yeah. And you're right. It probably would be less emac- emasculation of, of black males because it is rampant today, as we can see. Mm-hmm. And some of the people that are even portraying themselves as emasculated, they may not even be emasculated. Mm-hmm. Just to survive in this system, right. they went ahead and took that route because it's less resistance. Mm-hmm. Some of them, you could get money, like in the comedic field, if somebody took one for the team and put on a wig and a dress, we could probably be accelerated on this platform. I'm not willing to do it. Right. But... Come on, no, you know, I got grandchildren going to grow up and, you know, imagine... Your granddaddy in a dress. Yeah. Mm. I just, that's my bloodline. Remember, so. remember when we was in Atlanta and that guy... I, I can't remember his name, but he was an African American. He was a black actor, uh-huh. and he oh, said no. that he he kissed a he was, man. No, he was like, "Sir, have you kissed anybody?" He was like, "What? When? On TV?" It was like that. Just let everybody know that wow. you kissed right. a man. Period. Right. Yeah. But he said he wouldn't do it on television because, because you see television it. lasts forever. forever. And he's like, "Yeah, but he did it in a play." In a play. And he was. I was like, "But what's the difference?" Okay, well, you did it in a play. Those people saw you kiss that man. Yeah, and, and you those felt people, it. Mm-hmm. You felt right. the hard tongue in your mouth. <laughs> I don't know if you put the tongue in against the mouth. your yeah, heart. Yeah, why would what a kiss is, is your tongue hard? Is. A man, huh? A man on man automatically make hard on hard. Two dicks and no bitch find yourself in serious shit. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. The great Christopher Wallace. Hell no. Nah. I cannot deal with y'all no. today. Yeah. No. It, it, Don't I mean, leave me at the table with these moms. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just saying, they too aggressive kisses. That's all I'm saying. No, but I mean... It, it, Have it, you seen it firsthand? I've seen no, TV, he, of course. On videos. No, but he no, said it out of his own live. mouth, though. The guy said oh, it Oh, actually, I take that back. I did see him kissing live. I was in New York at the... Um, what's that dance place? Um, was that Walmart. The, the famous dancing place. <laughs> New York City Radio Hall. No, no. The school, the big school, I forget the name. Juilliard. Juilliard. Yeah. Well, not Juilliard. It's the school of arts thing. Yeah, it's the black one. I can't think of the name. Of it. But go ahead. Okay, it's but in Manhattan. But yeah, I've seen them in public doing it. Like, yeah, who haven't? It's just, it's, they're, they're normalizing it. Hmm. Well, they was talking for. <laughs> well, they, they, I don't, I don't want to. <clears throat> I don't want to. Thank you for the clarification. Get anyone upset in reference to the yeah. the gay portion of it, but it oh, it, 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 it but, we have, we really haven't. But okay, I'm but, just saying. but it, it I do have some type of sensitivity towards certain groups. Well, most all mm-hmm. groups until a certain extent. Okay, mm-hmm. so what I'm saying is that it shouldn't. You don't know that a person is gay until they tell you right. that they're gay. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I, I work with, uh, when doing comedy, I, I work with a lot of individuals from the gay community when they ask me to do like particular comedy shows for them. It, you wouldn't know that they were gay until they tell you that they were gay, but you will always know that mm-hmm. you're, you're black. So in this documentary, they was explaining how the feminist movement yes. um, tricked black women or black lesbian women Mm -hmm. into believing that their sexuality is what they should have been fighting for. At the end of the day, they would, you wouldn't know if a woman is a lesbian or if they were gay until they tell you that they were lesbian or gay. At the end of the day, you need to fight. You need to fight for what people see you as first. And they see you as a black woman first, Mm -hmm. or, you know what I'm saying? So they see you as a black woman first a black person, then they see you as a woman, and then you can talk about your sexuality right. or your sexual orientation. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. What you say? So Kim says Sometimes a lot. My not. son tells me about gay kids on his bus all the time. <clears throat> yeah. 
And 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 listen. But you got to realize, I'm sorry to cut you off, David. No, you good. A lot of times, there's a lot of gay rhetoric that's going into the schools as well. Now, you got, um, and I've seen it, where they have transgender drag queens reading stories to, um, to children. Yes. Right? And these children aren't even, they don't even know anything about their sexuality yet. You know what I mean? You got a movement now that's uh, from the pedophilia side saying that, and this came from Oprah too. This shit came from out of Oprah's mouth. Oprah was like, listen, when you're being molested, when you're being molested or somebody, and these are her exact words, and somebody is stroking your penis, you do not know it feels good. And I was like, what? That's a waste of time. (laughs) <laughs> right, but this is coming out of her own mouth. Yeah, and she then was a- saying that as for the the younger kid, they don't know about sexuality. They don't know that that's necessarily wrong. They just know of the feeling, is what she was saying. Oh, okay. All they know is that it feels it's good. good. They don't know the difference in right or wrong, and this person's taking advantage or violating me. Is what she was getting at. Is what I think she was getting at anyway. That's the way I interpret it. I don't think that she was saying that it was right because, of course, she was abused or or molested when she was younger. And all she's saying is, as a kid that young, they just recognize a feeling. Okay. That's the first thing that comes to mind is how it feels. At a certain age, you should know the difference. Yeah. Right. So being molested at 16, 17, you already know that you take his dick is wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think, yeah. But then she was talking about, there was another person that was talking about the, the, um, the pedophilia side of it that that's that kids that are of that age like it or that it, that it feels good to them too. They were saying that, okay, if it feels good to them, then they should have the right to be able to do this with them. But that doesn't make it right at all. Right. That's, that's a perversion of what actual sex was meant to be. Sex was meant to be uh, procreation. And the secondary portion of it was the fact that you have children behind it. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, no, procreation was the first thing. And the second part is that it feels good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That kind of helps you want to go through it. You know what I mean? And then, of course, having a baby is the painful part about it. And then, right. But it keeps making you want to keep doing it over and over and <laughs> over and over. Over oh my god. <laughs> now, you know, speaking hey. of I had a question about the movie. I haven't physically seen it, but I'm pretty versed in what buck breaking is. But did they ever mention how they would line up the black men and put them in the shackles where they had your neck covered and your hand, mm-hmm. your wrist covered? Mm-hmm. They just basically bent you over and just fucked you down a line. Mm-hmm. And then after you were all fucked by the prospective buyers of said male slave, the person that wanted to buy that male slave got a chance to fuck the future slave to say, hey, you know what? Damn. I like the way he feels when I'm fucking him. That's the one I want to buy. No way. Shit. Yeah, yeah it was that, that damn deep. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. It was, wow. that's, yeah, that's just a portion It wasn't just them it. getting their jollies off. I'm going to fuck this black man and make him, you know, embarrass me in front of his family. No, they were using that for a purchasing the slave saying, hey, this nigga's ass is good. Now, I didn't know yeah. that part. Yeah. I mean, there's no limit to what they probably did. It's insidious. Mm-hmm. I know the first time that Tariq Nashi mentioned buck breaking, facts. He mentioned <clears throat> that it started in the island of Jamaica, mm-hmm. and he said that's why Jamaica has a high disdain for gay people. Well, I think it, it's and the whole Caribbean. Stuff well, like no, it, it's it, you're correct in reference to them doing that to the slaves, but the homosexuality and the act of it, from my understanding, actually happened like um, when the conquerors from the Portuguese came to Africa mm-hmm. and they started doing their homosexual acts and stuff with them. Then um, it just got progressively worse right. when it got to Jamaica because he had that dude that was there that was telling you how to keep your slaves in line. And yeah. he was there the talking. Willie Lynch guy? Yeah. Or the- yeah. The Willie Lynch dude. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, it, it's, 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 it was, it was pretty horrible for them down there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, down there, yeah, a lot of see, like, like she said, she never knew mm-hmm. um, who replayed it. Um, I'm not sure who we played yeah, what. Kim. I'm sitting to Leroy. Oh yeah, I watched it. I watched all of it except for maybe like 14 minutes of it on my way coming back here. So I've listened to good, good. all a majority of it. And, yeah. and uh, you said we were gonna take our time and work our way through it. That's why we didn't yeah. want to put too much out. Right. So right, right now, now it's just pretty much like a synopsis of what we saw. But what I'm trying to figure out is if you are listening or if you hear us, then it's about 12 people watching right now in this chat. Um. I'm going to figure out a way because I'm going to upload it and I want to do like a group watching. The same way that they did uh, when you sent the video out and there was a lot of people commenting. I want to do a group watching of it. It doesn't have to be all here. Um, I'm going to put it up on like a Facebook group or whatnot and then we can just watch it from there because I did end up downloading it. So Yeah. She she want to know why Ed was watching them purchase the slaves and line them up and really do. 
That's what she just said. She want to know he why said, how you was able to watch it. He watched it with both eyes open, I guess. Popcorn. popcorn. I think he was just assimilating information. Is that what you was doing? (laughs) I don't think he'd get a chance to see. I think that's porn. Yeah, I, I think he was watching. Porn. I was watching watching a documentary on not only Jamaica but Haiti and Panama as well because <clears> although <throat> slavery was quote outlawed, basically the Panama Canal was built off of slave labor and those slave tendencies that were back in the day with the buck breaking, mm-hmm. basically um, disrupting the families, took place to build the Panama mm-hmm. Canal mm-hmm. by racist Americans who gave up on. I'm sorry, first by the French who started the canal, they gave up on it because it cost them too much damn money. Sounds the same thing they did to Haiti. Right. They gave up on Haiti and just, fuck them. Haiti, by the way, I got your back. If you need any support, let me know. Booyah! Um, All that also, fake money, he gonna send it to you. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> hey, <laughs> just, just for legal reasons, you weren't masturbating while you was watching this stuff. Well, that, oh, oh, my God. Where did this come from? This, this wow. habit of raping black male men has not stopped. It just changed faces. It changed his face. Oh. Right. I think that the well, African American well, well, male. Go ahead. What does he mean by change faces? Are we not the most prevalent person in prison? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. What happens in prison? Fleece Johnson. Okay. So you're saying they went from slavery to putting them in prison. Prison is slavery. Right. Listen, right. You strip it your <laughs> yeah, citizenship that means you're and not do what the fuck they want to do. Like, that's, that's kind of like jumping from, because you have to realize from the slavery point of physically. Uh, destroying a man's image because that's all buck breaking is. It's right. destroying the image of the black man in the eyes, but also getting gratification of destroying said image. So when white men would do this, they was getting mm-hmm. some joy and pleasure from watching this happen to in the eyes right. of them. They were saying something also in a documentary that Caucasian Christians back in the day believed that there was yeah. a spiritual exchange. The fact that you can destroy a person as early as they are and as violent as they can, their spirit then gives us a deposit that they're able to get a deposit from. This is what they said inside the documentary now. Now, is that true? It's a possibility because they do have this thing now where they scare children. And when they scare children to the point to where they scare so much, it releases an endorphins inside of their body and mm. then they drink that blood from them and right. it's called adrenochrome. So it's it's possible that that what they were doing then to get this spiritual exchange. But what I'm saying is that from the time that we were enslaved by those individuals, um, then we get released from slavery and we still don't have the complete access of funds that we would need to take care of ourselves. When they said, yeah, the man had to go back and work for the slave owner, he also had to go back and fuck the slave owner mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. And people don't want to, they, they don't want to see that. that they don't want to hear that part. Oh yeah, right. he, they, yeah, they was there working the lands and stuff like that. But what? yeah, they was also getting worked by the slave master right. as well. Also, after they was released, you have what is called Jim Crow. Jim Crow, a way of them, by, uh, uh, what do you call it, buck breaking, was the whole lynching portion of right. it. Okay, yeah. How is it that you can allow your kids to watch another man get hung from a tree, and then on top of them being hung, you cut his genitalia off? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, so, there's more to that. Go ahead. The go sign of a slave or a black person that is properly hung mm. was the engorgement of the penis because the blood that was in the head and throat area mm-hmm. could not circulate up, so it had to go down somewhere. Right. It pulled in the penis. So they would let you hang until your dick got. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Then they cut it off. Yep. Not only that, they would take pictures back when oh. pictures first started. <laughs> Ignore him. They would take pictures just to make it into postcards, into stamps, right? Into artwork, put it in books, saying this is how you hang a nigga. Mm-hmm. You know, it's insidious. It's just but, evil as fuck. Like, but what did they do? It's insidious to, and disingenuous. It's right. evil as fuck. But but check this out, right? <laughs> to do that also. To hang a person, take a picture of them, have them be seen. Now, you have to also remember that they was taking the body parts and putting them in jars because they felt like that the exchange of energy came through their through their loins. So there were there's individuals to this day, they say, have body parts of hung African-Americans. Then what's the, yeah. They put this propaganda out there that all black men was after white women. Facts. Because that's what they want. That's the only way that you can kill a group of people and not feel any kind mm-hmm. of way towards them. Right. If you sit up there and say that this man... Uh, was protecting white women and then you hung them, it's, it's something that's going to be wrong about that. But no, you got to make him look evil in the eyes yeah, of the people. people so what you do is they mess around and say black men are vile and they want to go after white women and they want to do this and this. Um, Fuck them in the booty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they want to do all of these things, right? So 
Next thing you, know, you know, it's okay for you to hang an African American. Then they want to sit up and say that the people that they hung were all criminals and bad guys, but the majority of these individuals were business owners. And the reason why you end up hanging them is because you are financially upset that they're doing that they're prospering more than you. And that's right. why I think a lot of times now that explains what happened with all of our townships, like yeah, like the movie Rosewood, mm-hmm. like um, uh, what do you call it? Mr. Uh, Man. Uh, what's uh, the Black Wall Street? You had uh, Elaine, Arkansas. There, are mo- there were multiple places that were flourishing. Um, but since we were doing so well and prosperous in the time where there was uh, a drought in the work, right. you got to realize that from my understanding that it was the Great Depression and white Caucasian workers were not, were not getting any work done because of the so-called government. And you got to realize we were disenfranchised. Y'all didn't want to have shit to do with us and or anything like that. So when we got our money and it circulates the most out of all of the communities mm-hmm. ever in the United States and the fact that we're putting up fucking schools and, and dance halls and movie theaters and now people got pianos inside of their houses it's because you all didn't want us with y'all. Mm-hmm. So we're doing our own thing. But you're upset now that we're doing our own thing and we're prospering in the middle of a, I guess, a, a, a thing where y'all are losing money and y'all can't find jobs and now y'all are upset that we're doing prosper. So it's just complete jealousy. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. So that, no, no, no. You good. I mean, great, great, great. Talk. You know what's really wild? We will attest this to racism when it's really not. It's about capitalism. Racism is the tool they use. Yeah, you're right. Because it's all about money. Yeah, you're right. When yeah. you run a business, what's the biggest problem a business has? Paying the labor. Yeah, you get free labor. Free. <laughs> everything is in the red. You're yeah. good to go. Excuse yeah. me, in the black. Green. Yeah, you're making that green, but everything's in the black as far as the ledger. Right. The money. Mm-hmm. But you had millions upon millions of people for 450, almost 500 years now, bringing you free labor. Yeah, you're right. You didn't have to really clothe them if you didn't want to. You didn't really have to feed them. They just give them slops and hope if they live. Cool. They don't. There's You'll another one coming. Else, yeah. Listen, off of the body, this, the people don't understand that how um, a slave master made money from having a slave or having a person mm-hmm. free labor, right? Let's say I own a, a white person, right? Um, and I'm gonna call said white person. Uh, I'm gonna call. No, I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call <laughs> said white person Pat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna call this white person Pat. Let's just call him Pat. All right. Um, I tell Pat. I, t- I tell Pat, listen, uh, you my slave now, and I'm going to fuck you in your ass in front of your people so that way so you can't get nowhere. So I fuck the dog shit out of Pat in mm. front of all of his family members and shit, and they can't do shit, and if they do, I'm going to kill them all. Dang. So now you got this mindset. Now, Pat ass is blown the fuck out. Wow. Now, now right, listen to Pat. me now. Now, listen to me right now. With Pat, with Pat ass blown out. Uh, I'm going to get, I'm going a, I'm to a have all my homeboys run a train on this, on this nigga, right? And Pat is getting Damn. wore out, blowed out. Now, here's, that's one thing. Now, here's, a, now here's a, that's just the beginning. Jeez. That's just the beginning. So we give Pat some Epsom salt and go ahead and, 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 and chill the fuck out, right? Now, Pat, he, Pat got to go out there in the field and pick whatever cotton or tobacco I ask him to with his ass hurting. Mm-hmm. But on top of that, on top of that, if mm-hmm. Pat can't do that, right? listen, Either you gonna, gonna fight, you gonna either no, you no, no, you gonna fight. Either you gonna fight uh, and make my money back because I just paid five hundred dollars for you, mm-hmm. right? And he can't give me the five hundred dollars back, Horrendous. so I got to get my money some way. This is all in reference to business. If you're talking about money, right? So I lease Pat out. Damn. I lease Pat out to damn, to damn. uh 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 I set right. This is because this is this is reverse. You gonna say a committing thing? No, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying yeah. they blacks is running this right now. Oh, but I'm sitting up there allowing Pat to go do what he do, right? Why you ain't say Leroy? No, because Leroy wasn't Leroy's old slave name. If no. I had to rechange my name, it'd be something else. But okay, you know, go but ahead, it, it is I'm what sorry. it is, right? No, it's actually two hundred fifty dollars to change at the courthouse. What for a person? Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can get a name change. Oh, 200, I can, oh, you're talking about my name being changed. Yeah. Oh, you, I might, but, but, but dude, I got to keep it because it's everybody. Yeah, everybody know I'm the last one. But, you know, but we got Pat. We got Pat being leased out to the brother down the road to pick his cotton as well. But while he's leasing it out, 
the brother down the road can also know, listen, uh, I didn't pay. I'm, I'm renting you for four dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. Uh, you gonna pick this cotton or you gonna suck this dick? Oh, okay. You know I just didn't want you to make Patrick get fucked again. Uh-huh. He always been <laughs> fucked over here. No, but you gotta know. You gotta realize you don't have that much left. That's no, a but look at, no, but no, I'm no, just but listen, sorry for Patrick. No, but listen, listen to all, <laughs> <laughs> listen to all of this stuff that we just listen. Everything when it comes to Caucasian people being dominant always have a sexual undertone to it. It uh-huh. does not change on top of that. It's gonna always be something sexual yeah. they're going to either try mm-hmm. to fuck you in the ass or make you suck a dick or uh, or do whatever it is and they constantly doing jokes about it. even the comedians today the non-melanated ones mm-hmm. they go up there and say they sucking this and doing that all the time and it's but hackish the, it's in, it's, but it's in their it's in their nature right it's, they, that's what they do and you got to realize but, before the Moors even went to Europe to try to clean them or whatnot, mm-hmm. they had to tell these guys listen you can't have your animals in here with your with sleeping with you at the same time but you have to also remember um, there was a widespread of chlamydia, a widespread of um, other kind of diseases mm-hmm. from them having sex with animals. So they transmit transmitted over to them. So now over when uh, Caucasians got to America, there was no syphilis. There was no clap. None of that stuff was over here until the Caucasians came over here and was raping and sleeping right. with the women. Mm-hmm. So they was the ones that's who brought it over here. So that's where it came from. It comes mm-hmm. from people sleeping with animals. Mm-hmm. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, so and, 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 and I want to I want to bring focus on now. It was real harsh how they treated the ancestors and the slaves and all that. But when we talk about buck breaking and and how they moved it into the new century, mm-hmm. it was the black males wearing dresses. That was the new mm, that's form. The form that's of buck breaking. Facts. If so, you can make the man look weak, yeah. And when you and then when you got the black male uh, belittling his race. Yep. And kissing up to the non-melanated people, that's another form of buck breaking. Um, and one that we can't identify. You always get a black person that's saying, well, well, black people kill black people too. Is that a form of, of um, buck breaking too? That when, when It can be. Uh, it can be, but I want to bring this up. In reference to that, there was a movie that just came out. What was the name of that movie, Claudine? The Harder uh, They Fall. The Harder They Fall. There's, and now, if you haven't seen the movie... I suggest you go ahead and watch the movie. Um, and if you, I'm going to do one small excerpt from it. It's a small piece. Uh, uh, was it the main guy that's in there was asking for taxes, mm-hmm. right? Because this is a all black community, mm-hmm. and it's an all black community that needs funds to be able to because it was being, it was basically being raped underneath by another black person that was getting ready to sell shit off, right? Mm -hmm. But he was like, to fend that off, we need to do this. Now, one thing that happened in this movie that I agree with is when this guy said, man, I'm not giving him anything. I'm not giving him nothing. You know what I'm saying? And talking about, man, we just need to report it or some shit like that. The man went up to him and said, it's people like you Mm -hmm. that is going to not allow us. He said, I didn't build this town for me. I built it for us. Mm -hmm. But certain people, you're going to have to put in work. And that's what the whole point of, and he killed that man right there on the spot. Amen. On the spot. Now here's the thing. I got watch we, this. Yeah, the movie's yeah. good, and yeah. I suggest so anybody it's a movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, on Netflix. It's a bunch of black actors that you right. like too. Yeah. It's but Alba, Dion Cole. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's what's Regina more? King. That's what I was getting at. So all I'm saying is that it, it's going to come a point in time where there there's going to be, yeah. if if we ever have an uprising mm-hmm. within our community, you're going to notice it. Because the masculine men are going to be the one that's leading it. Yeah. And you're going to see a killing off yes. of weak males that's within the community before. And and, and and it's not going to be a killing off per se, but it's going to be like, listen, you need to, um, there needs to be some type of recourse for said actions making it weak. Yeah. Um, they were saying something about how uh, Martin Luther King was moving the, the, moving the freedom of ours forward. And how individuals like Jesse Jackson and stuff kind of set him up to be killed, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's individuals like that. But then when you notice, nothing really happened to Jesse Jackson. He ended up getting promoted, getting bigger stuff within it. So you got to always look. When you see African Americans uh, striving within a system, you need to look at some of the shit that they've done to get there. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people are like, yeah, Colin Powell is this and that. What did Colin Powell really do? The same thing for Barack Obama. He died. Barack, yeah, he gone, but yeah, yeah, but there's nothing that we can really do about it. But let's look at the whole Barack Obama thing. 
we were so happy to see a black man as president. We didn't we didn't ask this man to do anything for our people. But now you have Joe Biden in there and he's giving million dollars to the Arabs. He's giving millions of dollars to the China, to the Asian community. Mm-hmm. And we've been asking simply to have a bill talking about stop lynching us, a lynching bill. And he won't even sign that. Mm. But yet we put the fool in there. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, they can sit did. up there and play on the black vote and stuff like that. What we need to do is we need to start having our own political power, our own Come group, on. and start putting our own people in those positions and um, start voting what we require in there. Because a lot of stuff ends up changing in that bill when it comes to black people. Uh, now all of our rights is going over to the LBGT community and to the Native American community. All right, I got a question. Go ahead. During the campaign, when the 45th president was getting booted up out of there, Ice Cube and a couple other people wanted to bring forth the black agenda. To mm-hmm. let them know, hey, we need to get this done to help our community. Can I cut you off real quick? Mm-hmm. Five thirty, you're absolutely right. Where's Kamala Harris? Oh yeah, I was going to mention that. I don't okay. know where she at. Was... Absolutely, I got a video that I'm going to post about Kamala Harris talking about she ain't going to do shit for the black. It's not about oh, the, cool. the black community. We knew that. It's about everybody. Yeah, we knew that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, when you start when Kamala Harris was putting people in the prisons mm-hmm. back in her own state and wouldn't even give them out, man, fuck that funky bitch. Yeah. She's committed to white dick right now. Oh my, so. hello. I, so I was going to ask Go where I'm just sorry, think, I just think that the majority of people at this table are either getting pussy and dick, and y'all should have some type of sympathy <laughs> for me right now. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just saying. You turning She's down just dick. She just you saying. turning <laughs> down. I can't take every dick. I got people sending me pictures and shit. <laughs> like, if you're getting penis, I mean, at least check the penis not to make penis. sure there's not bumps. They sending me pictures of them in wheelchairs, hospital beds. What the fuck are the folks to do? <laughs> um, ask and them to sign over their beneficiary oh, rights. Right here raising wow. the dead. <laughs> Oh, fucking military Nazareth. scooters. What the shit hell? You in necrophilia? <laughs> you, huh? you into necrophilia? I don't do nothing with your neck, man. <laughs> <laughs> so that must be old head apple. sitting in his old dick. <laughs> old head, she called me. <laughs> Who wrote that? <laughs> Go ahead, Ed. Go ahead. I was saying, you know, Ice Cube had that big old movement. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk whoever's in charge, whether it be Republican or Democrat. I want to get some action taken. Uh, Jarell, Biden's been in no almost more. a year. We ain't heard nothing about Cube's movement. Mm-hmm. Mm. Kamala, Everything's been COVID, COVID. Nobody, you and this whole AKA thing, I have not seen one organization or any meetings, any business opportunities by your sorority sisters to help us out since you've been in office. Mm. You can do this without going with the agenda of the p- politicians and the b- governments and the businesses that are putting money in your hands. But can you can they? go That's through your sorority is. sisters to help us. Mm. That's what the problem is. Can they actually, though? We see all these people that come before us and promise all these things, right. promise they're going to help the black community. But when they get in there, it's a whole different agenda. Because, again, who's funding these people? Right. And, and are they going to step aside and do their own thing, or are they going to go with the people who's paying them? That's why it's I about money. The business, business, the politicians, like and the other governments that right. are funding yeah. us. And do they want to Do they want to put up their fight? They don't even can want. they? Exactly. No, listen. Yeah, the first, can they, really? They, 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 they do can. what they want. But something needs to change first and foremost within there about our voting rights being done every 25 years. I think, is that right? Do we have, they have to vote on whether or not African Americans <laughs> can vote money. every 25 years. That's one. Two, a lot of things that's happening in our society right now is related to population <laughs> control. Yeah, that's you know true. what I mean? I so, got a message from Claudine. Uh, what she said, Community Claudine Smith, you, you're not getting dick by choice. Oh, get some or stop complaining. <laughs> Uh, I think you she has a preference on. I think oh, she has a preference on the type I, of dick she would say, like. I would just say, don't, don't, don't. Never mind. Go ahead, <laughs> say, it. <laughs> say it, Claudine, get it out. Don't, don't offer me anybody dick. You know, because I'm not looking for anybody dick. It's a certain type of dick that I'm looking for. Mm. I don't want any kind of dick. Right. She said something with a curve in it. You don't want a pop tart no. till you can get Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it's not more so the dick. I get men coming to me without cars. Without homes, without you know financial, looking at me, without financial, without financial means. I did not. Oh I mean, my! I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be nobody's uh, sugar mama. Right. Oh, so you need somebody to be yeah, having well, something. Yeah. Somebody it's got like you just fucking me for free. Right? Yeah. They got what? Can they have their own money and you got your own money and y'all just it, fuck because y'all want to fuck? Hey, hey that's that what they want to do. Option. That sounds like an option. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, listen. as long as you know how to eat off this plate. Oh hey. my! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, Brianna to... says she's anyway. just been collecting that bag. Mm. She doesn't give a shit about us. All right. That's, that's, about that's, about hey. that's, that's what I'm talking about. I Get think that Kamal, Ooh, I, with I think, that note, real quick. Mm-hmm. 
uh, I talked to Dr. Malachi York's son, uh, exactly. two or three of them. And the last one I spoke to is actually a male that is gay. He told us he was gay because he, they said he was a transgender, and he, we pinged him in our room, and he said, I'm a, I'm a gay male. I'm not transgender. I'm gay. Okay. You held him and in hostage in your room. The room on Clubhouse, oh. not my room. Oh. And he said his father was a businessman and that his father was in the stock market, right? And most people only know his father work. He said his father told him some people will only know my books and my spiritual work, but they would never know me as a man. So he grew up with his father. He said his father, people would have ideas and want land and projects, and his daddy would give them cash, like $10,000 or whatever. Here you go. So people don't even know that aspect of Dr. York, the business side, how he was able to get 460 acres in a land. And, he, and the people that are speaking now are so harsh and they don't know how to deliver the information. They come with all that intellect and they act so aggressive like they're better than you. Mm -hmm. They Amen. don't know how to tell the story of the person that put this whole thing in motion. See, you, we need to know how to duplicate what he did because what he did, he didn't do it so people could look at it and say, oh, he great. He did it so you can improve upon it. Who can continue the 450 acres of land? Who can continue his work? You see? So I took it as the universal sign because I'm starting to get back into options and getting into the stock market. So for this son to come and say, my daddy was a businessman, he was in the stock market, and he said he still owned all these houses and all that. And I said to myself, just to the 2K James Baldwin. Okay. Well. I had a good conversation with him. He, and that, was, mm. he was on his side of the microphone, and I was on my side of right, the microphone, did it, did the like my brother Osric say. But did it make any difference of his sexual orientation? Hey. It did not, right? Well, like if he didn't come into the room saying that he was a homosexual, that he was gay, it wouldn't have mattered. The information would have still been received. It, the exact it, same it would way. have been the same, but it shows it kind of shows the divine feminine because we got divine feminine in us, too. It doesn't matter how much we tap into it. You don't want to tap into it too much because then it'll be all over the place like Lucy Goose. So <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, right. he was wow. sensitive to he the said people. You got a bitch inside of you. And bring, <laughs> and bring in that message because I never would have knew that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This I need to know how he got 450 acres of land. I need to know the mechanics of how he built that. Forget all that information and this and this because y'all spitting all that information. But what you building? What you buying? What you doing? You're not liberating mm -hmm. nobody. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Are you liberating? Mm -hmm. No, you just want me to look at you because you was born up under knowledge and you know all the book knowledge and you can regurgitate it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> well, it makes That's sense the one I, I hate. Right, don't start spitting. Yeah, you. I didn't grow up there. I didn't grow up on the on the land. So now you're going to come and treat me like I'm less than because I don't have the mm -hmm. knowledge. I didn't have access right. to this man. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So Ooh. I was like, hmm. Jarrell was right. Jarrell said he had a vision. So the question is going to be, Black people in our community are looking for a leader, right? They shouldn't be. They, but they, but they you are, are a the leader. Right. A lot of yeah. times the individuals, they look mm -hmm. for individuals who are in positions of power to be able to tell them what is right and what is wrong, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so at, at any given situation, I, I think that what we need to do is, like I said, when we was at the house doing the thing, we need, we're just not organized. Y'all was at the There's house There's no organization. <laughs> when we was recording, you know what the fuck <laughs> I'm talking about. <laughs> you was recording <laughs> too? Huh? Where the video at? You said when y'all was at the house doing the thing, and I'm like, wait a minute. The, you, you know we was now. recording the Duval's today. Oh, because you didn't say we were Yeah, let me clarify that. Because you brought in the thing. I didn't say it like that. She said, look in a little bit. Little, this was a little <laughs> bit. Oh damn! Uh, you, you, you trying no. to say Leroy was doing a reenactment? No, shut up. Nobody's doing no reenactment out this bitch. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is that if if we can at some point get organized, I'm not even if every other race that's on this planet, whether or not they the top, because the top of the food chain right now is the Caucasians and their societies and stuff. It's pretty much running around. And I'm when I mean Caucasian, you know what a Caucasian person look like. And then you have the Asian. The Asians kind of deal with themselves. You have the Indians who are actually Asian, but they I think they're uh Persian, really, honestly, of Persian descent. Mm -hmm. The individuals in the Middle East are fighting each other. They like right at the bottom. Then you have the Africans and that and they just can't really get on top. Or they got or they sit there walking on all of the land, but the land is being divvied out amongst the businesses. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So 
at the end of the day, just gotta we gotta get organized one and be willing to work with one another in the beginning. But also in the documentary, they were speaking in reference to the breaking down of our organization anyway. And the breaking down of the organization all starts within the black family. So if the black man and the black woman are arguing, mm. then there is no Exactly. They, there's nothing that you can do because they were talking about how Martin Luther King had got and all of his funds from the church and the church was being funded by black families. So they was like, okay, if we can destroy the black family structure, that will then um, stop them from giving money to the church. But then secondhand, right after that, if we give the churches grant money mm. to shut them up, then nothing then will come from the church. the church. Exactly, basically. If God. you think about it, these churches grow so big and you'd be like, yo, I know black folks really ain't giving money like that. So where are you right. giving the where you giving your where are you getting all this money from to get this big mega church? Well, they go to the government and get a uh I'm going to say nothing ta- uh, uh grant or uh, all of my preachers a prosperity grant. You know what I mean? And all of that grant money come in on hundreds of thousands of dollars and now the church is and they tell you if you're going to get this grant, you can't talk about this. Mm-hmm. You can't say this. You can't tell people who to vote for. You know what I mean? So NDAs suck. We don't know nothing about no oil princes. What the hell is that? Mm-hmm. What about Probably the oil guys over in Saudi? Something oh. for another show. You know, you know uh, how white the, people the UAE. Come in when you have uh, I don't think Fire Turtle. I don't think. I don't think. That's what white people do. I don't think Fire Turtle is white, though. I'm talking uh, about Ed Dan. Ed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was replying to one of our viewers. Oh. Uh, what what about the oil princess though? Oil I, princess. I don't know what he means. probably meant oil princess. You were it's mentioning the different oil. races, such as the Asians being next in line, mm-hmm. you know, Chinese and mm-hmm. Caucasians. Mm-hmm. Then you also mentioned the Saudis with their oil. Mm-hmm. It's not just them; it's also what their offspring are doing because the offsprings are now getting away from oil, moving into electric, moving into stocks, moving but, into buying land. But mm-hmm. what do you need to make electricity? I know you can do the sun, but you're saying that they're Two not going to need and oil. A they're going to get away from that career field <laughs> as their main source of income. Right. But while the getting is good, because oil is going to go away. Right. But there are products that are just oil-based, like paints and nail polishes and plastics. Those are going to slowly go away because we can make that from food. You use nail polish. I'm aware that nail polish can be made from oil. Mm. Okay. You know, uh, Ford and those guys made an electric car like hundreds of years ago, but they, they killed did. it. Because they, they wanted the oil, oil. industry to correct the right. and stuff. Like no, that. it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. And they bought the patents for it back then to keep right. it squashed. And they killed off the actual Tesla for creating the actual energy. Right. Congratulations! So, you received a hundred messages, and fifty yep. of them was from Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it could be. Hey, at, least he up. at least he wasn't talking mm-hmm. about me. Shit. Yeah. Was, yeah. No, but what it what it was is that uh, they had the ability. We had the ability to do clean energy mm-hmm. some time ago. Facts. But they were talking oh. about the fact that um, clean energy would affect the oil industry, Facts. and those individuals would have gone bankrupt mm-hmm. instead of moving over to the clean because they didn't know how clean energy worked. All they knew is what they had. So since what they had is what it, what it was, they were like, "Well, we're going to buy the patents." They killed Tesla, and they was like, "We're not going to let it come to fruition." Now you have other individuals who end up finding out about the technology and they're doing it now. That's why you got the Tesla car that came out and everything. So, so eventually everything is going to be away from uh, oil after a while. You know, hey, we going we going we, we we done on the break the butt the butt breaking for a minute because I'm gonna go deep here. Oh, yeah. we <laughs> listen, listen. We just haven't remembered everything that we have done before. There's nothing new under the sun. That's why you have deja vu, because you are remembering things you've already done. Mm -hmm. The Facebook metaverse, right? My God has had me watching it because we deep into the stock market, and deep is the word today. Mm. Um, And I'm watching this, and I'm like, damn, that's astral projection, not ass projection. Astro Mm -hmm. projection perfected. You are putting on goggles. So you can experience virtual virtuality, <laughs> right? Goggles. Mm-hmm. goggles. You know what I'm talking about, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas we, as melanated beings with a decalcified pineal gland, mm. you go virtual just by closing your eyelids in astral projection. To be they get ready. They get ready to make mm-hmm. money off of something that you could do naturally if you tap in. Here's my downside to that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Let's hear it. Um, downside. Well, first to piggyback off of the metaverse, oh, if you ever seen a movie piggyback. called um, <laughs> uh, one, if you if you ever seen a movie called Ready Ready Player One, yep, 
I yeah, haven't you seen, seen it. I haven't okay, been a while, I want you to go yeah. ahead and because things, <laughs> everything is shown to you in movies and TV and commercials and stuff, and they have to let the people know before they start implementing these particular changes. This is coming from the <laughs> individuals that's out in uh, what is it the the some group that's that's it out in the universe. I guess you know what I'm saying. I'm, I don't want to be talking about my not the um, Anunnaki and no no no. no this hey, is some type of council they hey, say. You know but nonetheless. <laughs> Um, but nonetheless, I, what I'm I saying is this, right? Voice. Watch Ready Player One. Mm-hmm. Ready Player One explains how they go virtual, how they can completely feel it. What is she like? What the hell is wrong completely with you? Feel it. Yeah. I don't know. But <laughs> Pause, man. I, I was going to say I want to watch Ready Player One, no. but he said completely no, feel but it. The, just saying we was going to go deep. No, no just, <laughs> just all you got to do is watch it. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> it it got to be funny because she's crying. <laughs> I don't know, but send me the link on it. Y'all done dropped a lot of sexual innuendos and I, didn't I, know it. I mean, but I want to I want to I want to watch. Nobody been in me. Oh uh, my. I don't know who been in you though. She just won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all got Dave over here giggling. <laughs> I don't know I'm what now, I don't. I am not getting it. Okay. I, I, I saw you cover up. No, because I'm talking. Every time, every time y'all say that shit. That's a grown ass man. You talking about he giggling. <laughs> See? See? That, that, as a laugh. That's how homosexual. Like, oh, what's the white dots on your face? Uh, ain't, ain't nothing homosexual about me. I cannot. Okay. There you go. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just watch Ready Player One. Okay. Yeah. That you'll you'll see you'll the metaverse it. all within Ready Player One. Damn, they already ro- they had it rolling out. But here's the thing, Leroy. Why is it we will put the gargles? Am I saying it right? Goggles, goggles, yeah. goggles yeah. on our eyes, and we will spend our time watching it, right? But we won't spend our time sleeping with our eyes closed. We feel like that's a waste it, of time. Here's the problem with that, right? Yeah. If I do the metaverse and I put my goggles on, and let's say I meet with my sister, right, and she's in Washington D.C. And we all at this virtual table and we just having a good old time at this virtual thing and everything. Once everything is said and done, I take my goggles off. She remembers the experience with me being there. I remember the experience being there. When you go through astral projection, because I have I have vividly think that I've done it before once. And that's because when I woke up one time, um, I thought I had a game gear and I woke up looking for it in my house and I never had it because I was like, dog, this, this, this this was, this was so real Uh to me. I was like, dog, I have to have one because this is stupid. Right. Nope. I had a game boy. I didn't have a game gear. So either one, I had dreamt so good that I was in another dimension Oh yeah. or I was on the other earth or I had astral projecting to my other self basically. Right. So, so Mm -hmm. so if that's the case, then the problem is that if I end up astral projecting with Mm. you and we end up going to, Atlanta at that pizza place, right? Uh-huh. I will only be able to remember it. I'd be like, dog, remember we were astral projecting and went to the movie thing? And but you would be like, nope. <laughs> 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 well, Leroy, what the fuck is going on around? I don't <laughs> we <laughs> having a conversation. No, because she, because she keep making noise. <laughs> I, I just heard it. That's why. I <laughs> just heard it. <laughs> yeah. She like, mm. Like y'all just <laughs> all in this ass and projecting. I'm like, I'm no, but that's see, all. That's that's all I'm saying. God. That's all I'm saying is like, if I if if I was to ask you project with you, there the would moment. not be a shared a shared <laughs> joint experience that we can come back to our normal selves and be able to talk about. Right, you know what I mean. So, but I'm, some I'm, people do meet on the astral realm, though. Mm. <laughs> Damn it, fire turtle. <laughs> and so, ass project. Yeah, they they talk ass about it. <laughs> Explain it to fire turtle what you, we was just talking yeah. about. Ass, <laughs> ass project. <laughs> I think we're going to have to table this discussion. Right, we have to table, bro. yo. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's, yeah, it's crazy. What time yeah. we at? Um, yeah, yeah, we got another good. three minutes. Damn, for the show. Yeah, we're about to end it in a little bit. Oh, Dang. my God. Can't you go three minutes? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yo. He can't go in three minutes. I can. If I right. need to do three minutes, Ooh. I'd rather take my that's time like and enjoy it. Yeah, that's what I'm mm. talking about. Let me breathe. I don't with know you. what y'all talking about. Well, <laughs> <laughs> if you say Bolt can come oh. in nine point six yeah. seconds in first place, and everybody cheers him on. Why is it that y'all get mad when we come quick? That's so true. I don't, I don't want you to come at all. Man, nine see? seconds. See? That's brother. Hey, this... See, <laughs> I heard that. Come in yourself. Well, not with that. We're not with. What's your name? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Fuck this not. shit. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. So said the buck breaker. Mm. All right, y'all. 
Uh, first of all, I just want to thank you all for tuning in to the Sigma 27 show today. Uh, okay. This is just part one. Uh, I'm going to figure out a way so that way, if you have not seen the documentary, that um, we'll be able to watch it um, together. I'll upload it. If you are in this chat now, I will come back to this particular video and I will then put it in the chat. Yeah, uh, typically, what will happen is that if I put it in the chat, it will go to everybody saying that this particular person made a, mm -hmm. um, uh, a post on this particular video. So if I'm able to do it, I'll just put a time and a date, saying okay, how how we'll upload it to this particular group. Just join a group if you want to watch it. And then we'll go from there so that way you can see where we're coming from. I want to do a part two and a part three on this, so, but I, yes. everybody would need to actually watch the actual yeah. documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Including you, Chip, if you're still in the chat. Including your fat ass. Oh. So you need to go on there. <laughs> well, they will love him on the line. I want to see it because I haven't seen it. Okay. Why are they going to love him? You see how big Chip is? They're talking about buck breakers. Them buck breakers mm. love yeah. all that ass. But, it's a, it's the, but it, it, it goes yeah, beyond. I, I know the whole buck breaking word kind of is taboo. Not taboo, but mm. it's kind of offensive to people like that. But they have to understand mm. I exactly what buck breaking is. I hate for my mind to go there when Ed made me think of this. Mm. Do they like no, 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 no. ass flapping back like we do from women? <laughs> Ride the wave, just hit Nigga. it. Are you talking about like a man's <laughs> ass opening and he closing up? He just said they would love Chip because he's big. Mm. And when he <laughs> said that, <laughs> Chip was like, Woo! when he said that, I'm like, damn, wow. what are you saying? You're saying they like him because. So well, what you're saying is that Chip has ass buoyancy, is what you're saying? Mm. A plethora of posterior. Ooh. Well, I'll be damned. He's been looking at your posterior, Chip. He said dude. you throw that ass back, He said you got a juicy yeah. booty. Right. Hey, shit. Is, <laughs> hey, no, shit. That is, that's, <laughs> another, that's another comedian that was on the show. We're, We're not going to mention his name. Room. We yeah, so we got to put some sage in. Right. Got to do some sage know, because right. Chip going to be over here. Throw that ass in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> throw that ass in the circle. <laughs> Chip said, I'll be there next week. We hope so. Maybe it might we not be a show you, next brother. week. Yeah, but we definitely do miss you, bro. We definitely do. Um, now, listen, we usually have segments, but the show has gone over, so we're not going to do any segments today. Um, but before we go, is there anything that you would like to say to the people before we go? We're starting with you, uh, David. Hey, um, celebrate yourself. All right. Keita, what you got going on? Hey, I will be at the Authors and Art Holiday Edition event Tuesday um, at... 2030 Wells Road at the Hilltop Restaurant. Um, I will be one of the vendors at the show, so y'all can come on out, get your mm. tickets, and come on out and see, get some, and see what we got out here. Get some of this all-natural body butter. Hello. 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 Get some body butter. All right. Butter. Yes. Butter me up. Claudine, what you got going on? Oh, we still working on the uh, sitcom for Jacksonville called the Duvals. The Duvals. Um, shout out to... Uh, this this new black on black black owned business that just opened up on New Be New Berlin Road. Oh, uh, uh, Ken's, Ken's Kitchen. Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Nice. They close Sunday and Monday. Are you but, vegan? Um, they they do have vegan food. Vegan options. Okay, yeah, cool. they do have vegan options. On New Berlin, um, mm -hmm. on this yeah, side of New right. Berlin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right around the corner. Oh, okay. And um, I'll be doing a a show on December the third. More to come. Yay. And see, I said the word come again. I just got excited. <laughs> and then I'll be doing another show on uh, <laughs> December the 4th. Um, you, uh, come, you coming to that show too? I'll be coming on All the, the show. Time. Yeah, yeah. I might you going to do a Jill on Scott stage. on the mic? Oh, no. I come on the stage. And um, what um. else? And I'll be at the, the Post and the Omni Hotel, but that's coming up. Ooh, all, all right. right. All right. Let's yeah. go. Claudine begin, is becoming the plug, ladies and gentlemen. She actually helped I, I mean, staying yeah. up late at night. She helped us. Yeah, thank you for that other show we had. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm. Casual <laughs> Corner. I hadn't been there since my girl took me there back in the day. Huh? Right. Mm. I had, I had mm. a woman we there. We back. That's woman. where we will be. I had a drunk-ass woman try to give me a hug and got mad because yeah. I called her funky ass out. But <laughs> it, what you got going on? <laughs> mm. How do you follow up behind it? I know, oh, right? Yeah. I apologize, people. Don't forget Yo, what everybody, I um, please go to YouTube to Denarium Presents. I put the title in the in the text a little bit earlier. Okay. Go ahead and check out those mixed drinks. I have one for the holidays since the holidays are starting to roll around. It's going to be um, basically a cinnamon shot. Oh, yeah. So okay. Check it I out. I like the non-alcoholic ones that you did yeah. too. That was real cool. Yeah, I, I the sixth one in that series mm -hmm. is the. I don't want to give it away, but it's got some. Uh, give it away. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's got some, some fireball in it. That's all mm, I'm going to okay, say. Okay. Some balls. 
Y'all check them out. Yo, I'm gonna tell you right now when you really deal with Wesley Caucasian Snipes, people, but white. Caucasian people be having the fireball for real all the time. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. Yeah, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you uh, for myself. I uh, just want to let you all know before yeah, we go it. on, uh, of course, November 9th will be uh, Lakita Gordon's yeah. event that's going to be there. Also on the 12th, oh. I will be at Players by the Sea um, doing a uh, set there for um, uh, Love Reigns and her talk show that oh, she'll be doing. Girl. That's going to be at Players by the Sea. On the twelfth, also, um, what else is going on? On the sixteenth, uh, I'm going to be at Aromas. I'll be doing Aromas. That's a Tuesday on the sixteenth. Um, uh, then uh, once Aromas is over, we'll move over uh, to November twentieth. Uh, uh, November twentieth, Dr. Deshaun Powell is going to be doing her production. Until you do right by me, uh, that's going to be on November twentieth. Uh, then moving over until December. On December 9th and 11th, I'll be doing comedy on the basis. But also on December 11th, uh, our uh, guest from this past Thursday, Signal 27 in the community, uh, Chandra Lynn, uh, she's going to be doing her play uh, that's going to be at the Ritz. Uh, So y'all make sure that y'all go ahead and y'all check out those individuals. Also support us and what we got going on. Uh, David, what you had to say? Yeah, um, y'all started naming shows, and I forgot about shows. I do have a couple. Uh, Daniel Brinson on the 19th is doing a rodeo cowboy show, and I'll be doing some comedy on the 19th at the Legend Center. That starts at 7.30 p.m. I also have a show with um, Cherie Roberts that used to be on 1360 AM. She probably still is. And I don't have that date in front of me. I want to say it's December 8th. 8th is on a Thursday. It's a dinner show, and uh, the host is going to be none other than Funny Bone. And I know Ch- Chip is on that show as well. Maybe he could type it in the chat. And um, what's the other sister name that's on there with us? The three of us are on the show. Hopefully, Ch- Chip will type it in the chat. So I do have those two coming up. You know, other than the private party, I do have some private parties, and mm-hmm. you could book me for your private party. It's a birthday, well, a family thing on the 13th. And I got to have some church jokes. She said a few church jokes. Amen. I'm going to have to struggle to get those church jokes, mm. but I'm going to find them somewhere. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. Thank you all for tuning in. Oh, uh, it was Sharonda Lynn's play. I, I was looking up the name of it because it slips my mind sometimes. Uh, it's called The Hidden Truth at the Ritz. Uh, it's going to be on 12, 11, 21 at 7 p.m. Y'all make sure that y'all go ahead and get y'all tickets there. Ticketmaster, um, and go ahead and support. Uh, it's going to be an outstanding play. I read portions <laughs> of the play. Um, so I suggest if you need information, I'll give you some insight in reference to it. Uh, Miss, uh, Lynn, uh, Miss Lynn, she's a advocate for, um, HIV awareness. Uh, so it's a, a place centered around what she is, um, uh, giving information about. So I suggest that you all support it. Everybody from your young teens to your older adults need to be watching or at least get a ticket so you can see what's going on. It's no longer taboo. If you are in the city of Jacksonville, the city of Jacksonville ranks number three for HIV cases. So, and that's uh, between our young people as well as the old seniors. Watch who you sticking. Right. Including if you're old, if you're in them houses, them, uh, when you got the old folks homes and stuff in there, them old people in there are fucking, I and they are getting trap the houses. shit. No. So you're talking about the nursing homes. The nursing homes. Oh, yeah. Those are the yeah. trap houses. They're yep. getting it in. They Who claims fucking. head of household when you're doing taxes for a trap house? Uh, thank know. you all for tuning in. I ain't getting no head tuning. in my household. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't want shit. I just want to know. Thank y'all. <laughs> all right, y'all. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in to the Signal 27 show. We are Jacksonville's number one live comedy podcast. We are Signal 27. Yeah. We got to get one for you, Jimmy. <laughs>